Welcome to the Google News Mastery Course. I'm very happy that you've chosen to make the Google News business part of your own portfolio of uh, internet activities and I think that it can be very successful for you and we're going to do our very best to give you all the information to make that happen. This is the first video and we're going to jump right in and just show you what Google News is. Here we are at news.google.com, that is Google News and Google News is a place where uh, Google aggregates news content from as many different sources as it can. They announced in the fall of 2012 that they had approximately 50,000 news sources. Now that might sound like a big number but of course you know that there are billions, literally billions of websites on the web and only 50,000 of those have been included over a, over a period of 10 years in Google News. So it's a kind of a elite set of websites and you can tell by the first page here uh, where you see companies like Los Angeles Times, Politico, NBC News, E! Online, and New York Times that it is quite an elite crowd of uh, organizations who are included in Google News. Now the good news is that it is not only the big names who make it into Google News um, there are many, many thousands of other smaller news organizations and news publishers like ourselves who are also included in Google News. And one of the keys of this course is to help you understand what the principles are that you need to understand to be able to get into Google News, to apply to Google News successfully and have them accept you. So the second thing we want to look at is what does being in Google News actually do for you? How does it impact your traffic, your placement in search results, and so on? Well, one thing is that your article makes it into this Google News portal. But the second thing is that it also makes it into news results. We're going to take a look at uh, this typical search screen and here we've entered a search breast cancer risk um, it's a, a pretty well searched phrase and you'll see that as you would expect cancer.gov cancer.org breastcancer.org hold the top three spots when you search on that phrase as well they should these are very well known organizations they've been around a long time they have a lot of authority in Google's eyes but Google recognized that um, if anyone was ever going to see any recent information on a search topic, any breaking news on a topic, that that information, those articles, would have no chance to appear high in the search results because it's brand new. It has no history. It has no links, those kinds of things. So several years ago, Google began to artificially insert a News 4 section uh, in many many searches that you perform. In this case we search for breast cancer risk and Google artificially after the third natural search result uh, created this section called news for breast cancer risk. Now um, what they're showing us here is three articles that come from Google News sources. One of them was published by New, New York Daily News 20 hours ago another by Fox News a day ago and another by Vancouver Sun nine hours ago. This is hugely significant and this is why this course exists. This is why the Google News niche is important to uh, anyone who's uh, interesting, interested in being high on search results. And that is simply this, that simply by virtue of being part of Google News you have succeeded in getting one of your articles that is almost brand new um, <clears throat> in the fourth natural position in Google. Uh, let's take another example. Here we've searched on the 2013 Honda Accord and uh, if we look down the screen we first of all see ads which nowadays are very prominent both um, above the natural search results and also to the right that's something that you're quite familiar with and then we see Honda.com itself, that's to be expected. We see the Washington Post, very interesting, in the second place. Car and Driver in the third place. In the fourth place, again, we see um, maybe a little bit less well-known, 
eGMC Car Tech publication that's part of Google News um, in um, <clears throat> this fourth position. Now it isn't always in the fourth position. I'll show you some other examples where it can be uh, even in the very top position. But in this example it's quite interesting because we know that of course the Washington Post itself is part of Google News and um, we also know that carandriver.com is part of Google News. So uh, these articles on these publications um, have received natural SEO ranking uh, probably by virtue of being in Google News and so the articles are showing up in the search results um, in second and third place for a very popular search term right now, 2013 Honda Accord. Uh, and in addition to that, the fourth location on the screen is also occupied by Google News Stories. So in this example, out of the top one, two, three, four, five, six, and then as we keep going down, even the seventh and beyond articles for this search term, um, a huge percentage of these items are uh, straight out of Google News and they wouldn't appear in this list at all. They would not make it to the first page of Google had they not been in Google News. We'll take one more example. This is a search on the Nokia 920, a relatively new smartphone. In this case we see an ad at the top. The Nokia company itself is paying for this ad. Uh, and then even before we get to Nokia.com Google has inserted news for Nokia 920 and an article by the Calgary Herald, not a small news publication, but not the biggest in the world either, um, published within 24 hours, uh, has their news article there. So this is the value of Google News. This is a gift from Google. Now it's not a free gift. The cost of entry for this gift is applying to Google News, getting accepted, um, having Google acknowledge you as a legitimate news organization that it considers worthy enough to be part of uh, the set of uh, sites that it's included in Google News. So it's not a free gift, but it is a gift in the sense that Google is artificially placing uh, some posts on the web well above many others. Um, so the SEO search algorithm is modified by Google for sites in this category only. Now there are a few quote unquote gifts that Google hands out over time and you can probably think of what some of those are. Um, but this is probably uh, the oldest one. This is 10 years old and some of the other gifts from Google have kind of gone away. One that you might recall is Google Shopping where everyone who sold uh, an e-commerce product could have their product appear right alongside Amazon.com and others uh, in, in the Google Shopping results that were free until this year. Uh, and that little gift from Google has now disappeared. Now if you want to be um, <clears throat> in those results then you need to pay AdWords and um, that will be you know something that comes out of your budget and so it's not part of the natural search results anymore. Uh, so we thank Google for this gift but we in this course try to understand and explain it how you get in and then once you are in how you can make money doing this business. So that's the first of our videos. Thanks for sticking with us and uh, in the next couple of videos we'll talk more about the value specifically of a Google News site, how much it is worth, and then we'll talk about how you can get there.